Okay guys, grow the farm up. Today we're going to take a look. Uh, one month after planting uh, the seed corn into the three foot tall cover crop stover. This is the seed corn that you guys planted with me on that day uh, about 31 days ago. I like to do a month after review. Let's camera around here. Okay. Well, let's take just a look as we walk down the little field road here. Corn's coming up through uh, the rye stover. It was rye, clover, and vetch is what made the winter the best. It's just pick any plant by the new growth. You always want to look for the new growth. You know, in a corn plant, for example, this bottom leaf right here clear out here you're really not getting much photosynthesis from it it's kind of done growing and you know out here it's still growing but it's growing down here so you want to look for the new growth good good green coloration uh, you know you're all diseases and any har harmful insects will attack right where the plants the most succulent so far I haven't seen too many oh there's a there's a Palmer escape, gosh danger. Otherwise, pretty clean. I mean, you, you can't get much cleaner. I've been looking around and it's really pretty, pretty good cleanliness in terms of weeds, but there are a couple, a couple little escapes here and there. Now, uh, you know, one thing I've had a couple people ask me, I said, boy, don't, aren't, aren't you worried that this rice over here is uh, shading out the corn I've had multiple people ask me that because as you look across the field see the corn is just getting about as tall as uh, the rice over and you can see it's starting to about 50 percent of it is laying over and laying down but you know i've i've had the best luck the longer you can let this rye grow the deeper these rye roots go and so those rye roots, that rhizosphere has been shut down, you know, 10 inches, 12 inches, 16 inches deep. And now it's giving its nutrients over here because you don't harvest these nutrients. You just grow them and keep the nutrients active in a regenerative cycle. Um, I think we're looking at pretty good corn plant health. Uh, I guess, you know, look at it. I, I would say, just look at the plant. I would say the corn is shading itself more than the rye is. I mean, realistically, look, how, how much sunlight is that? I mean, okay, you can see a little there. There's a little rye shading. Uh, I'll grant you when the plant was two leaves tall, uh, I'll grant you that this, you know, yeah, you know, maybe should have... Uh, terminated the cover crop a little earlier you got to always be looking at the good good things and things you can improve on but I'll tell you what i've had the best long-term results come uh, september at harvest when i let the rye and the cover crop grow as tall as i uh, can let it grow basically get it you can see it's about 70 percent headed out when it was terminated and it's you know look it, it's it's going down it will eventually it will go down and within a month or so three weeks or so you really won't even be able to tell that there was uh, rye planted here there's a drive track is the only track we've driven down otherwise there's the rye is standing pretty well in all of the other uh, rows um been a great help in holding down the moisture that the the rye rhizosphere is kind of shut down, but it, it's established, you know, that's good. Let's just jump over here on this side and look. Let's take a, take a quick zoom in again. This is about 30, I think it's 32 days after planting. I like to do a, a month after update. Seems to be about, you know, four weeks, five weeks. That's pretty good, uh, pretty good time to show. And I mean, look at the... Look at the health of the, the plants. Look pretty good. Look pretty good. I mean, spacing is pretty good. Coloration is very good. 
A little bit of feeding here and there, but you know, I'd say less than 2%. I don't see very many egg masses. I do see a couple of little uh, early European corn borers that wanna, that wanna eat you a little bit, but that's pretty common. The plant's still in a vegetative state. We just we just had the solstice. Uh, I said try to get your spraying done and most of your stuff done by the solstice. Seed corn's on kind of a different schedule. So we may come in. I think we're going to come in with one more half of herbicide on this one just because when in doubt, spray it out. I mean, you know, look, that palmer has got really good activity on it. I mean, I don't know that it's going to grow any more than that, but it's still half alive. Look, it's all beat up, tore up, chewed up, and sick, been hit, one right next to it. I mean, you just, you just can't you just can't mess around with these Palmer amaranths, and that's what I think I want some people that really are into organics to understand. There are invasive weed species that put out millions of seeds if you let them go to seed. If I let this grow, it would go uh, eight feet tall and put out like seven million seeds. And then I would have an area, depending on which way the wind's blowing, for five years that would just uh, for you know take me three years to get under control with even more herbicides. So, uh, yeah, no, you know what? Uh, we don't want to soak our soils in herbicides. I think I don't think anybody disagrees with that. It's not like farmers enjoy spraying it. It costs a heck of a lot of money, and we don't want to. And look, we're doing everything we can, but this is really more soil health. And, you know, it is, I mean, you know, there's lots of good spots where it's just spotless clean. And the rye is really, uh, you can give it credit. And there's just, you, you, you cannot stop weeds, especially this Palmer Amaranth. It's just, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there's a little guy right there. You know, just look, and look, he's got good herbicide activity on him. And I'm not so sure that he's gonna grow much more. I mean, that root is shutting down, which is nice, but let's just take a quick walk along the end here. And so basically what we've got here is we've got a regenerative uh, seed corn crop, an inbred, a male and a female, that we will be crossing and we'll come back and do another video on this in another couple weeks once it really comes up out of the cover crop and the rye starts to lay down more you guys will be able to see i mean you know you just you tell me what you think in the comments this is just the pivot driveway take a look at the other side do a little zoom in and slow down a little bit like I said, I'll, I'll grant you, there's a little competition for sunlight when the plant was smaller, but realistically, look at the, the small size of the, the, the rye stalk left standing there. I, it's maybe shading out 5%. You know, I'll, I'll grant you that. I will. And maybe, maybe you should terminate a little earlier, but honestly, the roots don't go down 18 inches deep. You know, you, you kill the, terminate the rye out, and the clover and the vetch out. You terminate, the earlier you terminate your cover crops out, you know, like every day you let them grow in the spring, the roots go another inch deeper, especially once these small seeded grasses uh, start heading out. Oh, the roots just start going and going. And so you've created a, ry a root rhizosphere for these corn plants right here. To just now that these roots are 14 inches deep, 18 inches deep, they're just drawing all of the nutrients. Uh, and this rye is gonna lay down and give it more nutrients. I mean, look, it just, you know, it's 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 ready to lay over. It just needs a, you know, a, give, give me a nice two inch rain, that'd probably lay it over, but it doesn't seem to be in the deck of cards this year, so. Well, let me know what you guys think. This is what the corn looks like uh, about a month after planting it. This is the corn you and I planted together. We showed some videos on it. Scroll back up through the home page and you'll be able to see we was planting into it about a month ago. And this is what it looks like one month later. Tell me what you think. Grow the farm up.